Greetings fellow tank commanders, in this video I'm going to be showing you a fun low tier game that I played with the US Sexton 1. This is a tier 3 American premium artillery with regular matchmaking. The game I'm playing is a standard battle on Swamp with tier 4 as the top tier, 1 artillery on the enemy team and 2 on my own. For this game my tank is equipped with a gun rammer, enhanced gun laying drive and a camouflage net. I am using an American crew which has 7 crew skills and perks. I am platooned up with Mixie 360 who is also in a US Sexton 1. Both my platoon mate and I have positioned ourselves quite far forward. This helps make up for the slow shell travel time and limited range of a low tier arty. This is my first shot of the game here and a direct hit on a 600 meter lead. A great shot to start off the game and there's already another target here. Mixie 360 leaves that Blitzen on very low hit points and I get an easy shot to finish him off. Let's see if I can get this tank destroyer and have a reaper streak to start off the game. I timed it right but it just misses. Fortunately Mixie 360 is acting as my spare gun and the tank destroyer does not get away. This is another difficult leading shot here on a BT-7. But wow, another lucky shot on a streaking enemy. I'm sure my teammates will be happy having the enemy artillery down. And now back to shooting at the Panzer 2J. The enemies made progress this game on both of the flanks, but I decided to target the one with the most spotted enemies, with no success though. My tank destroyer teammate who is the last one holding the right flank is now getting swarmed by two light tanks. I noticed one of the enemy light tanks wasn't moving too much so I just auto locked on him and took a hopeful shot. That's one down, one to go. I didn't actually line up that shot perfectly and the miss ends up hitting that light tank. A great time to have some lucky RNG because I think that might have saved my teammate. He acknowledges me by signaling great shot and usually I'll signal affirmative as a sort of you're welcome but I got caught up with the intensity of the game here and forgot. And finally, after the third time targeting that Panzer 2J, Mixie 360 gets the finishing shot. Now all that's left is the DW2 which has most of its hit points. I decide to move towards him and get some shotgunning shots in, and I get a great angle here for auto lock shots. The DW2's now noticed my location and he's moving in on me, it's gonna be close. Oh yeah, I love this tank's shotgunning potential. Now let's check the post-game stats and see how we did. For this game I earned 47,000 silver with a 25% multiplier and earned 3,234 experience. In this game I dealt 1,306 damage, assisted with 17 damage and destroyed 7 enemies. This earned me Mastery Badge Ace Tanker, Top Gun, and a Brothers in Arms medal for my platoon mate and I each destroying 3 enemies and surviving. I placed at the top of my team earning a base XP of 1347. I managed to hit 12 of my 20 shots and penetrate all of those. Mixie 360 also had a good game there with 729 base XP dealing 691 damage and destroying 3 enemies. I just got a few more lucky shots and a great opportunity for extra damage at the end on that DW2. In terms of crew and module damage, I damaged the engine and fuel tank in the Blitzen, damaged the engine in the Cruiser 4, damaged the gun and injured the commander in the BT-7, damaged the viewport and injured the driver and commander in the DW-2, and finally damaged the radio in the Panzer 1C. 
Well, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing that fun game with the US Sexton 1. It's one of the few artilleries in the game that can actually reliably place at the top of the team, and it makes it a great tank to use for some low tier fun. Stay tuned for more awesome World of Tanks videos.